So often in chemistry, you'll use this compound called CuSO4 with this dot 5H2O. It's called copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate. The penta, that means there's five. So there's five water molecules attached to this CuSO4. When you heat it up, these water molecules, the heat will make these break away and they'll either be on the sides of your test tube as water or as steam coming out the top. So you'll start out with this, with them attached, and you'll end up with copper 2 sulfate, it's called anhydrous, looks like this white powder here, and water. So to balance the equation, it's pretty simple. We have five waters here, we'll just put a five in front of the H2O, and this equation's balanced because we still have the same number of coppers on each side, and SO4, SO4. You'll do this often in lab, they'll have you weigh it before, heat it up, all the water leaves, you weigh it after. That way you can figure out how much water there was and then do some stoichiometry with it. So you start out with the nice pentahydrate, this blue crystal here, heat it up, and you end up with this powder. If you pour water into the powder, it will change back to the blue copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate. It might not be a big beautiful crystal, but it'll be blue crystals of copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for the decomposition of copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate breaking apart into anhydrous copper 2 sulfate and water. Thanks for watching.